Plains Games with Jay. Back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Let's, uh... It's been a week. Um, yeah. This looks like some endgame stuff, so, uh... Am I supposed to talk to Kyoko? Or... Oh, okay. I'm supposed to go to No, school. stupid! Alright! <laughs> How dare you not... There was one comment. You, you haven't seen this. You haven't read the comments. But they're like, Jay should take notes between sessions. And I was like... No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not turning this into like a fucking like class or like a job. Like, <laughs> yeah, Jay should take extensive notes, uh, but so he knows exactly what he needs to do. I, I get where they're coming from, though. And no, I appreciate that's the, ridiculous. I appreciate the idea. I'm just not that kind of person. I'm just kind of like, yeah. what happened again? Yeah. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Kyoko, I don't mind so much. <laughs> My god, oh, fucking sucks! He's <laughs> supposed to be dead! What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? You were supposed to be punished! Did Kyoko help you? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again! And this time I won't leave anything to chance! K Kyoko! Mommy! <laughs> do whatever you feel you have to. Uh, mommy! W what? But before you do, let me just say one thing. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Ha! Huh? I lose? You! Explain yourself! What do you mean by that? Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an, ex uh, an excuse to kill me. I was supposed to be chosen as the Black End and then executed, right? Hey, what are you talking about? But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. Because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. And in response to that unexpected development, you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Blackened and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be man uh, manipulated, was a threat to you as well. Makoto a threat? <laughs> <laughs> but then there was another unexpected development waiting Being for you. Being a little bitch. Sure. <laughs> An entity that would have throw uh, that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter ego. <laughs> you never imagined the possibility of a being that could co come to our aid even after you killed them. Now here's the absolute truth: Makoto didn't kill Mukuro. You did. So executing Makoto for it would uh, surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Black End is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? <laughs> and that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the Black End is me and not Mac Otto? Yeah. And you can prove this, right? So. No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. What is this, a comedy routine? To make such bold claims without a shred of evidence? I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to talk very poorly, like some kind of famous detective type. <laughs> Sorry, my throat, like, <laughs> I'm parched. My throat just like closed up for a second. <laughs> if Makoto really was the killer, he never would have had to, uh, would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared him for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you so love to inspire. But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? It's not you I'm trying to convince. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Especially the commenters would probably be like fine with it. <laughs> Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Despair can never kill hope. <laughs> of course, you can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. 
Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. <laughs> if you want to earn our despair fair and square, then I suggest you take my advice. Bear. <laughs> so, what is this advice of yours? To do Makoto's trial all over again. Oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> Only this time you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. Alright, so we're gonna erase the past eight episodes, uh, redo them. No. Sorry guys for that mistake. Uh, <laughs> it's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial. One last showdown. In other words, this would be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuro's killer of the Mastermind themselves. But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting indeed. Barry? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So, time for bear jokes. Now, what you've suggested might be possible. It would certainly make for one honey of a climax. Great, he's Brooke from One Piece now. It's the skull <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Does that mean you accept? Bear joke! If we do things <laughs> your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. Will your hope win out, or will my despair claim victory? Let's have one final grizzly showdown! He agreed. <laughs> we still have a shot at this. But this is the long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. So for this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? That's right. Every last mystery that's pawing around the school. If you can do that, then that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you. That's what we've been trying to do all along. Okay, well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mukuro's death and solve the mysteries of this school, then you win. But if you can't do all of that, we'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this all has turned out. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. I remember that for sure. So what? I just want to confirm that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement? <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations. And having a trial for Mukuro is no exception to that. Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception? Then it's part of the regulations? Which would have to mean that whoever killed Mukuro... <laughs> It's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Are you telling the truth? Why do you go all quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm done talking. I got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would ya? Why so mad? Why so serious? Why so serious? <laughs> he seems emotionally unstable. You want to know how I got these paws? <laughs> Let me alone. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I'm going. I just... You're really going to let me go? I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. Poo -hoo, poo -hoo, poo -hoo, poo -hoo. <laughs>
<laughs> Come on, Makoto. Let's go. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 We're like, I, th I think the Monokuma bot's glitching right now. <laughs> Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the Mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? They had no choice but to accept. Huh? It's all because of that moment we, uh, that the Mastermind let down their guard, like I said. So when was it that the Mastermind let their guard down? I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the Mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. And yet somehow, the Mastermind was able to do it. But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason? They had to show the world something, no matter the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? The Mastermind had been uh, very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. The Mastermind's been very adamant? <laughs> <laughs> and all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? The outside world has a name for the students of Hoax Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair, the mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove uh, that despair is better than hope. That's their goal as the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that, that's ridiculous. <laughs> You're right, it is ridiculous, <laughs> a completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. <laughs> yeah, like, the mastermind's a huge chunibyo, which is an absolute weeb nerd. <laughs> that group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? I know how angry it must make you, and yet, that same motivation is what led to, uh, to the mastermind revealing their weakness. What? Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The Mastermind has had to be more particular than, uh, than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the Mastermind has simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At least, that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves? That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished, but in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. So instead, they tried to use the class trial following all their proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that they didn't have a right answer, then made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't work. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the Mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the Mastermind had to accept your suggestion? To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have, have to defeat us in perfect form. It would only do the Mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the Mastermind to accept your challenge. Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance. Because you believed in me, another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. 
I'm just thinking like, oh yeah, I totally believed you the first time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it, totally. I, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have the slightest clue. No in shit. The, <laughs> in the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. But it looks like I got it right. This time, at least, I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seem totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of, a, of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I'd shown my uneasiness, that would have uh, just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. Anyway, we can't relax just yet. After, uh, all we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Yeah. Or everything we've gone through will uh, have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There is no option except to win. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Work together with everyone. Is that really possible? Huh? Anyway, right now we have to go find the others. They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? They're in the dorm somewhere? <laughs> God damn it, Makoto. Reading is Makoto. I've been reading more Makoto lately, and it's just like, God, he just... He's just a question... A question repeater machine. Yeah. He's, he's... The mastermind is planning this. The mastermind is planning this? Yes. The mastermind is planning this. <laughs> Drives me fucking crazy. Dorm somewhere? Is that like... Well, if Kyoko's here behind me. No, she's not. Oh, Bye, she bitch. Kyoko! Wait, what, what are they... They must be in the dorm somewhere. That's what we're supposed to do. Oh. Uh, yeah. They're not in the di the dining hall as oh, usual? Oh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe. it's nighttime, though. I didn't think... Uh, True. Unless everyone's getting Or they of... could be in the um, uh, locker room because it's no no camera was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. Nope. They're not as that smart. <laughs> and suddenly, we were greeted with... Happy birth! <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> you again? Is he broken? I suppose his uh, his emotional instability reached its limit. What the fuck? Jeez, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah. Is that Makoto? You guys. I mean, uh, <laughs> it is. Thank There's you no all. two ways about it. That's Makoto. Huh? You survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? <gasps> oh, Bianca, you, oh, you, you care. Oh, you love me the care. most. You care. <laughs> I'm just asking you to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Everyone was there. All my friends and Byakuya who had struggled together and survived. <laughs> I thought you were going to make all my friends and Yasuhiro. Oh, yeah, that, that'd be better, actually. <laughs> Fuck Yasuhiro, honestly. <laughs> I like how at this point, Yasuhiro is the one we hate the most. I guess, like, Byakuya's... Sure, he's, Byakuya like... Byakuya is at least interesting. Yasuhiro is just this Bi gross yeah. palm tree. Yeah, obviously, like, you know, he's, he's Byakuya is, like, he's mean, but he's a good character. Yasuhiro, I'm like, oh, my God. God, <laughs> shut up, dude. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. I started to tear up. Oh, yes. Yasuhiro was still here. Yeah, I was gonna... <laughs> Wait, what's that smell? Yasuhiro. Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. It's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. Get away. Shoo, shoo. I fucking almost died, guys. <laughs> Flash. My tears dried up. <laughs> they sucked back into my high ducks. Is this, this happened to you multiple times with us, Jay? <laughs> No. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. There's no time to indulge in a, uh, an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. They're like holding their noses like, no, we're good. Just <laughs> go ahead. Explain. Explain what? But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? That's related to what I have to tell you all. Ah! I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Last class trial? We're going to redo Mukuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? No, no, no. What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? 
No, I didn't do it, idiot. Like I keep telling you. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course, it's not me or any of you. Then who is it? What she's saying is, it was all the work of the master. Oh, whoops. How dare you? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're saying the mastermind killed the girl? <laughs> I'm glad at least we got a Yasu hero line completed. <laughs> <So> <laughs> That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to uh, to. Did what he to had to to, to stop, stop it. it. Yeah. yeah. But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know. But executing Makoto, who wasn't the Black Ant, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the Black Ant is to be executed. The Mastermind broke their own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. And the Mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Very observant of you. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared, that's what you were referring to. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again, later. So knowing all this, what do we do now? It's about who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? But there's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? But we've been looking around all this time and we still don't know anything, right? You've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. <laughs> everyone? Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever with my master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. <laughs> anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But figuring out who the mastermind is, and how they kill Mukuro, and all the school's mysteries... It's a pretty tall friggin' order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Then why did you agree to it? <laughs> huh? I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. That's what I thought too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hinto? He's a hit! I told you this shit, but <laughs> this young game was 16 people! And then the other people are taking steppers since the beginning! And there were 16 people! No. Bianca's like, what? <laughs> Makoto's like, so like, he was glitching, right? <laughs> no, right before yeah. so. <laughs> That was his Monokuma impression. He's like, that's your Monokuma? No, he's more like, Oh, hello, chaps! <laughs> no, no, that's not it either. Everyone has a wrong Monokuma yeah. impression. What's Kyoko's Monokuma? <laughs> what is Kyoko's Monokuma? Oh, Kyoko's Monokuma is like, uh, Hey, um, I'm gonna kill you guys. Meanwhile, um, Toko just pulls out a, Hey, everyone! They're like, whoa, Kyoko, whoa, that's whoa, really good! Whoa. And th <laughs> then she sneezes and Jill's just like, what? What's, what? Oh, happened? I know, he's like, beep, boop, boop, something, I don't know. <laughs> like, oh. Mm. <laughs> then Kyoko's opinion and impression are perfectly reasonable. <laughs> huh? But why? If the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in this school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> then the mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Add a Mukuro and you get 16. So the mastermind would have to be one of them? And of those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive, are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? You can't be serious. Wait, we can't say for sure that's true yet. 
Monokuma might have just said all that to confuse us. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. The mastermind being Ronald McDonald is also technically a possibility. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair. So they m must be a high schooler. You can't say it's not possible. But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Maybe they s snuck off and controlled them in secret. I don't care how sneaky you are, we would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Oh, shit. We're just going in? Or no, no, it's, it's sleepy time. It's sleepy time. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Oh, what the hell? Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. You know how we did the escape room this past weekend? Yeah. If I heard this, I would immediately just like bolt it. Just like start like <laughs> touching everything. Yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Yeah. <laughs> how very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. <laughs> Meanwhile, Makoto's stuffing food in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning on working alone. How could you fit that many Cheerios in your mouth from the beginning anyway? <laughs> At this point, I can rely only on myself, on the Togami blood flowing through my veins. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Well then. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. Master, he didn't take me with him. Do you blame him? Without Master, the rest of you are like coffee with cream. Without the cream or c coffee, <laughs> you're totally useless. So, bye. With that, Toko trudged out of the dining hall. And now she's gone. And you're They're all like looking at him like, how about you? <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> and you're going to go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Yeah, we're all going to go off by ourselves. You first, Yasuhiro. That, <laughs> that's right. Which well, just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. In that case, I'm going to go by myself, too. Wait, how come? Just wait and see. I'm going to use my totally awesome Monokuma impression to figure out <laughs> the mastermind's identity. Which is... So what's the deal with the <laughs> so what's the class deal murders? with class trials? <laughs> 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 Laughing loudly, Hero left the dining hall, freeing us from that hey, terrible hey. impression. <laughs> poo -hoo -hoo, poo. <laughs> Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves. What about you, Hina? Um, I guess I'll do the same thing. I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know, but up till now, I just really don't like you, Bakoto. Yeah, no, that's fair. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Makoto? Eh, that's really nice of you to say. But still, I know I've, mo I've mostly been totally useless. So I figure, at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all get out of here. So I'm going to go off and do it all on my own. Okay, see you later. Hina was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. So, you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? Well, don't misunderstand. But just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. Also, we'll all look at that same star. Somewhere <laughs> out, out there. there. I should just see it as uh, splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. Kyoko's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd better get going. <clears throat> I have an endless list of things I need to check. Monokuma said all the doors in the school have been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. 
We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Disneyland. <laughs> Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I had to begin my search, which will begin next, next time. time. The Makoto Hour. <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe skip the next one. <laughs> yeah.